Hello and welcome to this tutorial where I will show you how to open and close a door either if you just walk to it it will open and close or you can walk to it and press a button in this case I'll use uh, button E and go in and close it yeah let's get to it So let's get to it. Um, what you see here, um, the only thing I have in my uh, scene right now is uh, my player with a simple movement script um, and a capsule collider. So for the door, let's make a 3D cube. Let's uh, scale it by 2.5, 2.5, and 0.3. Let's Move it up a bit, so it will look like a door. Let's make it a bit higher. Let's do something like, let's make it four. Like that. Make, let's call this the, the door. Create an empty object and call this uh, open door. Underneath the door, Create an empty object and call this the rotate point. The rotate point you can move to the side that you want to open the door. So in my case, I will open it to the right. So I will move it to the right side of the door. And then you can take your um, let me see here, the door, oh sorry, the rotate point and put it underneath the open door and the door put it underneath the rotate point. So now the rotate point is over here. So now if you see here, if you take the rotate, you can actually rotate your door like this. Yeah. <clears throat> so now let's make the... We will need an animation for this. So on your open door, uh, go to uh, animations, create animations, and here we will make open door anim. Save it. And then hit this uh, record button. Go to frame something 15 change your let's see ah sorry you remember to 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 stay on the rotate point here go to frame 15 rotate the door on the y to 90 turn this off again so if you see here now in the animation it will open and close now let's make a new clip and call this close door anim. Save it. Head back to the open door. Take these two points, copy them, paste them into the closed door, and simply just switch them around. If you see here, this is the open. Only take this one, take them to zero, and take the first one to 15. So this animation will close the door and the other one will open it. So open up your animator. If you do not have it, it should be in, let's say, Windows, Animation and Animator. Then you can dock it down here in the right. Here we should make uh, two par uh, parameters. Let's make a trigger called Open Door. Make another one called close door. <coughs> Create a empty uh, state, and this one we can call uh, just call a start, and make this your uh, as your default state. From default state, we'll be able to open the door. So make a transition to the open door, and remove. That has exit time and fixed duration 
and duration to zero. <coughs> and in the in condition, let's put the condition to open door. <coughs> and from the open door, make transition to the closed door, and from the closed door back to open door. And here we have to do the same, remove exit time, fix duration, set it to zero. And here it will be the open door. And for the other side, we need to pick the closed door. So let's see here if we can we, yeah. <clears throat> so now let's go to the script. Let's make a new script, call this uh, door. We can go to, let's see here, uh, open door, rotate point, the door here. And at the door script, we also need to, yeah, let's open it up in Visual Studio. I just have to see if everything is correct. Yes. And here we need a reference to our animator. So let's make a private animator. Animate, animator. Call it anim. And in the start function, let's say anim is equal to get component animator. And then we need a on trigger enter and we need an on trigger exit and on trigger enter we will say if other dot uh, other dot tag is equal to player then anim dot set trigger open door let's see if that was what i called it open door yes and remember it you need to write it exactly as it says here else it will not work so open door and you can copy this one and on the exit we just have to say close door so let's save the script and head back to unity let it compile. And let me see what I did here. It should not. I put it on the wrong. Sorry. The script is on the wrong moment. It should not be on the door, but it should be on. We should put it up here instead. Sorry. So put the door script and remove it from the door down here because the animator is here so it's it needs a reference so we will just put it here <coughs> and here we will need to add a box collider as well this box collider will be the trigger so if you let's put it up here uh, let's make it wider so this is the one if the player enters this area it will open and when the player exit this area it will uh, close the door so let's just let's just start in this remember to set it as, as trigger so now let's see what happens let's hit the play button Let's walk to the door. Oh, of course, you need to remember your, <laughs> your animation clip to turn off the loop time. Now let's hit the play button again. So now when we walk to the door, it will open. And it should close. Why did it not close? Let's check the script again. Did I close door? Did I make a type mistake? Close. Uh, just a second. Uh, 
uh, yes, I found the, the mistake here, sorry, sorry for that. <coughs> um, in the animation, I switched something around. So if you see from the open door to the closed door, this one of course need to be, this error, of course need to be closed door. And the arrow back is of course the open door. And one other thing I forgot is if you have your player, remember it, it needs to be tagged player before it will work. Or anything else. If you see here in the script, the tag it's looking for is player. So if your character or whatever it is, is tag something else, you can just switch this around to what you have. So now let's hit the play button again and see if it works. Now it opens and now it close. Go cl now it opens and it close. So this is simply by walking. Now let's add so you can hit a, a button or use a specific button to open the door. And here we will simply use a boolean. So private wall call is open. And from the get go, let's set it to false. And then in the update here, we will say if is open, oh sorry, is equal to true and input dot get key, key code dot e. And here we need a parenthesis, then Uh, what did I miss here? If input, we need this one. So, um, and then we need to take the this line here, move it up here, and we need to say is open is equal to false, and here. In the trigger instead, we need to say is open is equal to true. And of course, this key code uh, E, you can switch it to whatever you want. So let's go into Unity again, let it compile, hit play. So now when you walk to the door, nothing happens. If you hit the E button, it will open and it will close when you get to the other side. So go to the door. Hit the E button and it will close when you go to the other side. Yeah, that was uh, what I had to show in this tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching and uh, if you like these videos, please hit the like and subscribe button below. Thank you.